A blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating on the book of Psalms, chapter 8 and verse 2. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. Yesterday we had a glimpse of God's greatness from Psalm chapter 8 and verse 1. And this morning we are going to meditate on the words babes and sucklings. Our Lord is so wise, He is able to use the feeblest representatives of humanity to be His champions and to confound as well as silence those who oppose His kingdom and deny His goodness and providential government. Great American humorist Mark Twain told a story about a California man who died and went to heaven. Arriving at the pearly gates, he was asked where he had come from and proudly he responded, I am from California. The keeper of the gate asked, where is California? The man totally put off, said it's the United States. The gatekeeper asked, where is the United States? Now really frustrated, he said, it is in North America. The gatekeeper said to the man, I guess I have never heard of North America. Now indignant, the man shouted, it's a part of the earth. The gatekeeper asked to be excused for a minute while he asked around about this place called Earth. After a good bit of research, the gatekeeper learned that the earth was a little forgotten speck flung out into the space that was known as the Wart. Mark Twain was of course exercising his considerable wit in making the point that we earthlings tend to exaggerate our sense of self-importance in the universe. In his mind, he doubted the being from Texas or California or Colorado would open any doors in heaven. Precious ones, the power of God is able to bring to pass great things in his church. By the very weak and unlikely instruments that he chooses so that the excellency of the power, might and strength may evidently appear as from God and not from man. Therefore let us humble ourselves before him. Let us worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let us remember who we are in the light of who he is and continue to give him all the praise. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for even considering humanity in the midst of the Milky Way and the galaxy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom Maranatha.